This is Twit. So let's let's kind of I, I want to hear your thoughts, you know, on the year past because you, of course, Apple Music's been around for a while. Um, are you? Do you still use Apple Music as your main music streaming service? Or yeah. you know, you I'm a, uh, you and I are unusual because uh, for our job we have to look at a lot of different products. Um, mm -hmm. Lisa asked me, "Why do you have five password managers?" I said, well, I use LastPass, <laughs> but I have to keep up on what everybody else is doing. Uh, you know, no one should have five password managers. That's just a recipe right. for disaster. But it's something I have to do. Similarly, uh, I have many music services. I have Pandora. I have uh, YouTube Music, the new YouTube Music, Apple Music. I finally did get rid of Spotify. Not because I, I still think it's probably the best of the bunch. But how much music can you listen to? Right. Uh, so I do have Apple Music. And I, I'm not, you know, my, but again, my use case is also a little weird because um, one of the reasons I have Apple Music is my best stereo equipment is attached to the TV in the living room. And I needed a way to play music through that equipment. There's an Apple TV there. It just, you know, when I want to listen to Christmas music, uh, the easiest thing for me to do is to go to Apple Music because it's built into the Apple TV, and then I can play it. And it's also high quality. Um, you know, I also have Amazon's uh, HD Unlimited service. That might that arguably offers higher quality music, and you can put it on your Apple TV. So occasionally I'll use that. Um, I don't think Apple Music, just like Apple TV+, Plus, I don't think it's the best of the bunch. I think probably, you have Spotify still, right? Yeah, I'm Spotify and Apple Music. Those There's are a reason two. why you have Spotify. Yeah, and and so Sp Apple Music is my music library application. It is where I keep all of the music that I've ever actually purchased, and then all of the music that I download uh, and albums. And I'm mostly an album listener. I listen to an album all the way through. So Apple Music, when I know exactly what I want to listen to, Apple Music is my go-to. But when it comes to wanting a DJ, Spotify is the much DJ. Better. It's much, much better, better at being a yeah. DJ. And that's everybody seems to agree on that. Um, I would say, yeah, yeah. Apple Music is not best in class in any area, except maybe the, if you like the radio stations, but they're not, that's not my music, the radio stations. So I, the kind of music, I mean, I also have Prime Phonic, which is classical music. <laughs> I have, I have wait, at least five music <laughs> streaming services. Um, and when I'm going for quality, I'll usually use the Amazon. Now, my 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 entire music collection is stored on three of those five. Uh, it's it's stored on YouTube Music because I uploaded everything there. It's done on Apple Music. I use uh, Apple Music's Match. Everything's uploaded there. And Amazon has all of my songs. So there are three different services that have all my music. So that's not... And you can do that apparently with Spotify, although I haven't found it to be... I didn't find it to be easy. I don't know. You, you haven't tried to upload all your music to Spotify? No. Um, I did that one time, and it was a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah. never again. I think, I think your use case is exactly right. And since most people choose a music service for the discovery, for the stations and the DJs and stuff, most of the time, I think I'm the same way. I'll say, I want to hear some cool jazz tonight. And I want the cool jazz station. The Spotify is the best cool jazz station. Uh, Apple's cool jazz introduces stuff that I don't consider cool jazz, for instance. So, yeah, I think Apple still has a way to go on Apple Music. But if you want a good deal, 30 bucks, and you got that, if you're not like me and Micah, where we have to try many, many things. Right. You know. What about Apple Arcade? Are you still playing it. games in I Apple Arcade? I quit it, and then I realized I had to keep it for the show. Right. That's the only reason you, I would. You're the it. game guy. Of yeah. The two of us, at least. Uh, I there's a certain sameness about the Apple Arcade games. They are. Ah, uh, that's fair, isn't it? There, I can't, mm -hmm. I don't know if I can put my finger on it. Um, but honestly, there are better games out there. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. And if I'm going to spend, it's not just the money; it's time. Really, the biggest investment in any game is the amount of your life that you devote to it. And I don't find any of the games on arcade 
worth spending on. Grindstone I spent some time with, eventually tired of. Um, you know, Sneaky Sasquatch, which is the Apple Award winner, mm -hmm. um, is fun. It's no Among Us. No, it's... <sighs> It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's, there aren't a lot of, uh, I mean, even for, uh, I, I don't know. I just haven't really seen a lot of people get jazzed about Apple Arcade. Um, uh, that there's some standout game that really blew people away in Apple Arcade. Yeah. And you've hit the nail on the head there. It is, uh, there's a sameness to all of right. the games. Right. And I don't know if that is, that's the thing is, is it a mandated sameness is it that apple is looking for very specific a curated slash mandated i mean through curation you get mandation i don't know if that's an actual verb but anyway um <laughs> mandation through, through curation. curation you get yeah. yeah mandation through curation and so you get that sameness in almost in art style in many cases and certainly in game play but that's depressing to me because I don't want to believe that the only way for you to get fun and uh, continually playable games is through that free-to-play nonsense that the other games have. That you have to have all that gross stuff. I do like that, that Apple work. put a planted a flag in the sand and said, "Look, no in-app purchases." I like mm -hmm. that. I have to say, my favorite game right now is on the Nintendo Switch, Animal Crossing. One-time purchase, it would lend itself to in-game purchases, and they are Nintendo is foregoing billions of dollars by not doing that, and I admire them for not doing that. Uh, that is easily, in my opinion, the game of the year. And here's I'm going to go out on a limb, and I don't know if this is true, but there is, it seems to me, the same flaw in Apple Music, Arcade, and Apple TV. There is something about it that just doesn't grab you. They don't. There's nothing where you'd go, man. That's that's Game of Thrones. That's right. And I think the reason. I think you nailed it. The reason is a heavy-handed approach from Apple corporate. I think they have sanded off the rough parts. Mm -hmm. That's their goal. But by doing so, they've also eliminated the standout thing that makes people love spotify that makes people love the nintendo switch that makes people love say netflix it, you're not getting that breakout unique ingenuity um you know music apple music has the same playlist as everybody else so that's the one that's closest to everybody else because all the music is the same and but but again it's the curation the organization, the way you make playlists, all the little user interface features, and Apple sanded off the rough edges. It's very vanilla in mm -hmm. all three cases. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that's the problem. You know, they always said with HBO that the reason HBO had such good content is because they were hands off. They would give tons of money to the most talented creators and then say, have at it. Do whatever you want, and and creators loved in the in the you know the heyday of HBO. That's long gone now that AT and T owns them. But in the heyday of HBO, I would talk to creators. They said we love doing stuff for HBO because they give us they support creativity. I have a feeling that people go to Apple TV, for instance, because the money's there, but that the environment does not encourage real creativity. So, and the top creatives are not at Apple TV. They really aren't. So anyway, yeah, that's I, that part. I especially that's an editorial with. on my part. Um, and Apple, I think Apple wants to have a sanded off experience across the board. Apple doesn't want anything to stick out. <laughs> that's not <laughs> Apple, right? Apple wants it to be kind of whole and unified. And there's something to be said for that. Uh, users seem to like it, but that is a problem, I think, when it comes to uh, creativity. Artists stick out true artists stick out mm. like a like a broken thumb true artists stick out yeah that's, that's what uh was that confucius ah uh, Lao Tzu, i think said that in oh, the art thank of you. war yeah, Lao Tzu. yeah 